Hello, and welcome to week 67, day 456 of Man vs. Violin. This is my 456th consecutive day of violin practicing. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been kind of busy. Um, the part of the world that I live in has been hit with some pretty heavy rain. And um, I've been trying to address roof leaks and um, move stuff out of an area that got pretty wet and trying to dry things off. So between working two jobs, dealing with biblical proportion rain and um, trying to get everything dry, um, hasn't left me a lot of time for making videos, but what I have managed to do was practice the violin every day. Why? Because that's what Paganini would do. So I'm coming up on my 500th consecutive day, not too far away, and if I can make it to my 500th day, I'll probably be doing an original piece for that. But today, no originality. No originality today. Today we are going to be going to Suzuki book number two and uh, page 10 and it's the chorus from Judas Maccabeus. I don't know if I said that right. Um, Judas Maccabeus. That's a tough one. This piece is by Handel and we'll see if I've got a Handel on playing this. So Suzuki Book 2, page 10. rough spots. Um, that piece has uh, some eighth note runs that aren't quite as fast as the sixteenth note runs that are in Gavotte, uh, but still they're a little challenging. And speaking of Gavotte, I have been practicing Gavotte from Suzuki Book One. I've been trying to practice that every day, but those sixteenth note runs in Gavotte are still pretty challenging. They're still giving me um, kind of a hard time. So even though it's been a couple months, I think I'm getting better at them and I think they're coming along a little faster, but um, I want to get those down a little bit faster and smoother before I play that one again in a video. So what have I been practicing? I've been practicing uh, Suzuki Book 2 and um, obviously Judas Maccabeus 
and then also uh, page 11, which is Musette from Bach. And um, some of the first position intonation practices on that page, which I think are very helpful. Um, so I think page 10 and 11 from Suzuki Book 2 are really good pages. Um, they've helped me see areas where I really need to improve in my violin playing. Also, I picked up this book, Scales, Scales in First Position for Violin. Um, so a few people recommended that I uh, work on my scales, and this has been very helpful. Um, I've been working on the C major scale, and then also it's associated minor, the A minor. And uh, these scales um, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with as far as finding on the bass or a guitar. But on the violin, especially the A minor scale, uh, involves a lot of adjustments to my fingering. And um, trying to develop that muscle memory, I think, is very helpful. So scales for violin um, are a lot more challenging than scales on bass or a guitar. And this book is very helpful. So this, is, this was a good call. Thank you for those who recommended a book on scales. With the violin in particular, I've also been trying to work on vibrato. So vibrato is something that's completely stupefied me. Um, I've watched so many YouTube videos on how to move the, the wrist or the elbow uh, or the fingers to get a vibrato sound. And it's really just been in the last few weeks that um, I'm starting to kind of get what you're supposed to do for a vibrato. But my vibrato is still very rudimentary. I seem to only be able to vibrato with my index finger. Um, middle finger, nope. Ring finger, nope. Pinky, definitely nope. So the only finger I can even do a marginal vibrato right now is with my index finger. So, uh, hoping that within the next few weeks and months, I'll get better at vibrato because that really does add a lot of depth and feeling to um, the playing sound. But that's plenty to work on. As I said, I'm coming up on day 500 uh, in less than 50 days. So less than two months, um, my goal is to have played 500 days consecutively. I think for that I will come up with an original piece. Um, there's already uh, some idea, I already have some ideas of something that I'm working on and uh, we'll see about that. But hopefully there'll be at least another video or two before the 500 day mark. So thank you all for watching and keep practicing the violin or whatever your instrument of choice is because that's what Paganini would do.